so when we start talking about carbon credits, what we're really focused on um, is being able to capture that CO2. And a lot of ways we're able to capture CO2 is through conservation practices. Those practices in agriculture that contribute to sustainability of the practices where we're, whether we're talking about cover crops or reduced tillage because of those practices help to either capture or maintain that um, carbon in the soil. When we look at CO2 emissions by industry, we know that agriculture is contributes about 10% of overall CO2 emissions, which is a lot lower than a lot of the other industries like transportation and energy industries. But by design and, and our production practices, agriculture is really the only industry that by what we do, we're able to offset and capture a lot of that CO2 through our practices, either above ground in trees or below ground in, in roots or in the organic matter. Can you imagine how would we even live if we didn't have agriculture? We are very blessed that we go to the grocery store and we don't even think about food being on the shelves. And that's all possible because of our producers in the state and in the nation. And to be able to provide just a little bit of information or a little bit of help to a grower to ensure that we continue to, to not think about where, you know, access to food, that's why I think all of us in Extension do this job.